वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम सिक्स डैश फिफ्टी थ्री सो स्टेटमेंट इज इफ बीम इज सब्जेक्टेड टू एन इंटरनल मूवमेंट ऑफ थर्टी किलो न्यूटन इंटू मीटर डिटरमाइन द रिजल्टेंट फोर्स कॉज बाय द बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन एक्टिंग ऑन द टॉप ऑफ द फ्लेंज सो यू कैन सी द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द बीम एंड दैट इज एक्टेड अपॉन बाय इंटरनल मूवमेंट ऑफ थर्टी किलो न्यूटन सो वट यू हैव टू फाइंड इज दैट यू हैव टू फाइंड द रिजल्टेंट फोर्स दैट इज एक्टिंग ऑन दिस top flange a due to the bending stress distribution so let's start with the solution so resultant force will be caused by the bending stress distribution so we'll first find the bending stress and we know that bending stress in general is equal to minus m into y divided by i clear and we have m we will find i first so that will be a section property so section property i property i that is we will find how we will find it so we will find the moment of inertia of this rectangular box clear and we will subtract these two the moment of inertia of these two boxes clear so moment of inertia for rectangular is 1 over 12 bh cube so breadth is total is 100 mm so 100 mm is 0.1 meter and height is 150 mm so that is 0.150 and it is 1 over 12 bh cube minus 2 times 1 over 12 this breadth is now 45 mm this this is 45 mm because 50 minus this half this half is 5 so this will be 45 So forty five is zero point zero four five, and what about this height? So this height will be equal to one fifty minus fifteen minus fifteen, which is one twenty. So this is one twenty millimeter. There, so one twenty zero point one two zero meter. So it's cube. So when you solve this, you will get I will be equal to fifteen point one. Six five into ten to the power minus six meter power four. Now what we will do is that we have been given to find out uh, uh, the stress at top and bottom of this flange. So let me delete these things. Clear. Okay. So let if you. check it that you will be having a uh, neutral axis at the mid of this beam so let this is the neutral axis clear so you can see from the top till this we have a y distance is equal to 150 divided by 2 which is equal to 75 mm and this is we know we represent is yt and this distance from the bottom of the flange this is yb and this yb is equal to 75 minus 15 which is equal to 60 mm so what we will die we will bending stress when we will find bending stress bending stress the distance the distance from neutral axis neutral axis to top and bottom surface of flange a y top is 75 mm i have already shown you that is 0.075 meter and y bottom is equal to 60 mm that is 0.06 meter let me show you again this is y b and this is y top 75 mm and 60 mm so in meter they are given as so how you will find the bending stress is so bending stress for the top is minus m into yt divided by i 
सो मूवमेंट इज गिवन एज थर्टी किलो न्यूटन सो थर्टी इंटू टेन एस टू पावर थ्री वाई टॉप इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सेवन फाइव बिकॉज वाई अप वॉट इज टेकन एज पॉजिटिव डिवाइड बाई आई आई इज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट वन सिक्स फाइव इंटू टेन एस टू पावर माइनस सिक्स एंड वेन यू कैलकुलेट इट इट विल बी वन फोर्टी एट मेगा पासकल एंड वट अबाउट वाई बॉटम ऑफ फ्लेंच ए सो दैट इज माइनस एम इंटू वाई बी डिवाइड बाई आई सो अगेन माइनस थर्टी इंटू टेन एस टू पावर थ्री एंड वाई बी इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स फाइव मीटर डिवाइड बाई आई इज फिफ्टीन पॉइंट वन सिक्स फाइव इंटू And when you calculate it, it will be one nineteen mega pascal. Clear? Both are negative values because due to this uh, this moment m, there will be upper one it will be in compression and lower portion will be in tension. Clear? And that is also given over here. This negative value means that these are in compression. Now what we will do is that we will find the resultant force. So resultant force clear F R. So F R. Okay. For that we will take the cross section of this flange. there so you can see that this this breadth was 0.1 meter clear 0.1 and this thickness was 0. this thickness was 15 mm which is 0.15 meter clear okay the upper portion which is minus 148 let this is One forty-eight. Clear. If I join this with parallel line, so this is one forty-eight megapascal, and this will be in compression. While lower one is in also compression, and that value is this one. Clear. So if you join this, this is one hundred nineteen mega pascal, and in compression, instant of negative compression. Clear. And what if I join this with this? Clear. So you can see that uh, this portion is trapezoidal. there so this point is 119 mega pascal okay so fr the resultant the resultant force resultant force acting on flange a is equal to volume of volume of trapezoidal stress block so this is trapezoidal stress block this this clear and we will find the volume of this Which will give you the resultant force. So this F R is equal to the area of trapezoidal is one over two, one over two, one over two. This height which is one forty eight plus this height one hundred nineteen, and you can see this thickness is zero point. Zero one five into this one forty eight and one nineteen is mega pascal, so ten to the power six 
multiply by this thickness which is 0 0.015 multiply by this width which is 0 0.10 it's not 0 0.15 it's 0 0.10 meter so multiply by 0 0.1 Clear? And when you calculate it, you will get this FR will be equal to 200296.74 Newton or this FR will be equal to 200 kilo Newton. And this will be act in the middle of this. This will act in the middle of this mean. So this will be the resultant force that is caused by the stress distribution on the top and bottom of the flange. Clear? And that was all about problem 6-53. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned from it. Those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about latest video. If you have any question, you can ask me in comment section. Thank you for watching.